Hey dreamers, this is Jade and I'm here to do my completed journals for December 2020. Now back in June, I did a six month check-in to let you know which journals I had completed thus far and which ones I would be moving into as a result. And now here are the final journals that I got completed for the year of 2020. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, Usually I'll go, I'll go ahead and show you what I'm going to move into, but I'm just going to, of course, you guys know, separate the video and do a, um, what journals I'm going to be using for 2021. I'll do a lineup video. So that will be separate. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. You guys know that I love these little journals for like my scripting and affirmations. And so I actually ended up, um, the one that I moved in from the one I was using, before I fin ended up finishing and so I am in a new one um, and this was just a quick little notebook that I picked up from I think Tuesday morning um, a little while ago but I love these little ones for like my little affirmation scripting type journal um, this was something um, you have not seen I actually started it back in maybe October or S September um, it kind of replaced um, what I was doing in my pocket Madrid and I just kind of consolidated everything. I needed a place where number one, I could have a calendar so I could put things like birthdays and appointments and just have an overview look of it, a quick overview look. And then I could just write um, things in as well to help me remember stuff that happened throughout the uh, month. And then um, I kept my dailies here. So Monday, I would just kind of write what I was doing during each time. And then, then I would also uh, make a list for goals I wanted to complete it for the next day. And then affirmations I wanted to focus on while I was like maybe going to sleep or meditating for the night. And that's basically the format. Um, these little labels I just made in Procreate. I just wrote the days of the week out and affirmations out and then made stickers of them um, in my silhouette to keep um so you see um because I just needed something and then I just you know add the dates so I know what I'm doing so like here's December and this was um the last month I actually did in it I was going to continue on and just finish it but I've decided for the new year to just start in a new notebook and so yeah I used that um this here is my creative journal for the year. I have, um, I'm doing a lot of abandoning notebooks. Um, I pretty much worked through this through, uh, November. Um, and you guys know that I did a December daily, so I didn't want to do both or try to do both. And then, um, I actually didn't even get to Thanksgiving, but I think I'm done with this journal. It's getting that, that hump thing. And there's not too many pages left. This is an A6 Nanami. Um, in the future, it's just, it's too much, it's too many pages for me at, for one notebook as far as a creative journal. Um, I love, I have discovered that I love the Tomoe River paper. So that's something I will be sticking with. Um, but this is just too much, kind of like the Stalogy, the year Stalogy that I was using last year. Way too much um, paper in one notebook for a creative journal for me. Um, eventually, I will do a complete flip through of this. You guys know I like to do a monthly flip. So if you're interested in that, it's, that's already on my page or my um, channel. But I will do a complete, completed flip of this um, with no, um, with probably just music in the background. I may stop and um, discuss what I did in November since I never did a November slip, uh, flip. But in other than that, I am pretty much done with this. I will be moving into something new for the new year. Um, you guys know, I love to keep an account of my daydreams. Um, <clears throat> and before I actually was using a notebook like this, exactly like this, the same exact notebook that said daydreamer on the front. Well, I actually ended up filling that up and I told you guys I had actually bought another one. I'd probably just transition into that. And so I did. And I am, let's see, here with it. So I am moving right along in this as well. So I'm sure before the end of this year, I will be transitioning into yet another daydream journal. So I love this. I picked this up from Walmart a year or so ago. Um, I haven't seen any more. So yeah, 
that is it for that one and then um, as my daily journal goes this was the one I had been working in um, what for my six month checkup what I had moved into and I um, since you know COVID hit and everything was going on everything was pretty much mundane so I didn't work through this as fast as I usually would a daily journal usually it takes me about three months to get through a daily journal but this took me quite a while let's see this was March through yeah March through September so it does not take me that long to get through one of these but I finally finished it up I transitioned into another notebook and I'm actually getting close to finishing that one as well um this one you guys know is my December daily okay so now what happened here I was actually falling behind but I had gotten into a good groove for catching up and then of course on Christmas day um I had a pain crisis. I ended up having to go to the hospital. I was there for four days, two of which I have no idea what happened. I pretty much lost two days. Um, and so I once out of the hospital, still recouping and stuff. Um, so I'm just now kind of getting back into my groove. So that's where I've been, guys, if anybody's been wondering. So, yeah, so that, again, put me behind in my December daily. And then, of course, like I said, four days, I wasn't even here. But I ended up um, working through the 18th. I am seriously debating on whether or not I even want to finish this. I just feel like abandoning everything and just starting fresh for the new year. Um, however, um, I am, I, the small part of me is considering at least um, catching up through, um, Christmas day. Uh, and that would be on my own time or whatever. Eventually I will do a completed flip through of this. Um, but I am still considering whether or not I want to work through day 25. So that's why you haven't seen anything more about my December daily, um, lately because, uh, I had to go to the hospital and it completely threw me off my game. So, um, and this, I actually started in the beginning of last year. It was a gratitude journal and I worked through it for a while. And then again, another journal I kind of abandoned. Um, I was getting, it was just getting too mundane and, and just uh, blah for me. Um, and I realized something about myself. Um, also in the meantime that, um, while gratitude journaling is great and it's not something that like I'll never do again, I actually might end up trying to work it into a collective notebook. Um, however, I realized that I am a naturally grateful person. Shout out to my parents for that. Um, but like throughout my day, I'm thanking the divine higher self, whatever I'm thanking I am thankful like all the time, like I'm thankful just for just being able to go to the bathroom and pee like a normal person because for so long my kidney did not work. Um, and you know, I couldn't do that. I, I, I had no kidney function, but now my kidney, I have a new kidney, a transplant and it works perfectly. And just the relief of being able to pee, <laughs> sorry if I'm discussing this since I'm disgusting anybody, but I mean, it's my life. So it is what it is. Um, it's, it, it's thankful. I think I'm thankful. Like if it's sunny outside, I'm like, Oh God, thanks. You know, like I'm always thankful for the things around me. And I realize that it's just something I do naturally. It's like autopilot. I'm thankful. I am grateful for the things around me. Um, the things I see, nature, all that kind of stuff. So I don't necessarily need a concentrated journal for that because it just comes being thankful and grateful um, just kind of comes naturally to me. So anywho, we'll see how I continue on with that in the new year. But that is pretty much it for the notebooks I've um, completed in 2020. Um, if you guys want to go back and watch the, the ones I completed at the halfway mark, I will link that um, above. And yeah, so that is 
pretty much it. If you have any comments or questions about anything, you can definitely leave those below. If you guys would do me a huge favor, I would really appreciate it if you would thumbs up the video. And I hope you all had a fantastic weekend and I hope you will have a wonderful week. Week. Yeah, period. <laughs> so yeah, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. My 2021 lineup will be coming soon. Bye.